Welcome to the Smite God reveal for Discordia, Goddess of Strife. It is said Rome wasn't built in a day. For as mighty as the city had become with her grand Colosseum and stretch of aqueducts, Rome might never have been were it not for the mischief of the goddess Discordia. Known among the Greeks as Eris, the maligned goddess of strife, she craved to unravel the foundations of the mortals and deities that hated her. Eris conjured a golden apple and cast it forth. Upon it read the words, for the fairest, a phrase that would set Athena, Hera, and Aphrodite against one another, a phrase that would ignite the Trojan War as cities crumbled and heroes both Greek and Trojan fell to each other's blades, the origin of this masterful golden apple remained a mystery. Attaching herself to the mortal Aeneas, she guided him safely from Troy, across the sea and wilderness to the place where a new nation would be built. Here, Aeneas founded Rome. Free from the judgment of Greeks and gods alike, Eris was remade as Discordia, a Roman goddess with a flair for chaos. Chaos that began with one golden apple. Discordia's passive is Contest of Gods. Discordia strives to make her allies compete with each other, giving a power buff to the ally that has dealt the most damage to the enemy team. If Discordia has dealt the most damage, she will keep the power buff for herself. The power buff given to her ally increases with Discordia's level. Discordia's first ability is Unruly Magic. Discordia fires a major projectile forward in a lineup to a max distance she can control, dealing damage to anyone it passes through. Once it reaches its destination, it briefly charges before erupting into six minor projectiles. The minor projectiles will bounce off walls and damage any enemies they come in contact with. Discordia's second ability is Strife. Discordia covers an area in chaotic magic that deals damage to all enemies hit. Enemy gods and minions hit by this will turn against each other and attack for a short duration. If only a single target is hit, then they are rooted for a short duration instead. Discordia's third ability is Erratic Behavior. Discordia leaps a short distance and then creates an area of magic where she lands. While inside the area, she becomes stealthed and gains bonus movement speed. Her first and second ability cooldowns are reduced by an additional amount of time for every 0.5 seconds she remains in the area. Discordia's ultimate is Golden Apple of Discord. Discordia throws her golden apple at enemies, passing through minions, dealing damage, and bouncing off walls. If the apple hits an enemy god, it will deal damage and force the god to hold it, damaging, intoxicating, and crippling them. After a short duration, the apple explodes, dealing damage and spreading the effects to nearby gods. Apples that have spread will afflict their crowd control for a longer duration, but cannot spread again. While afflicted by Discordia's ultimate, enemy gods will be forced to spam their taunt against their will. Discordia has a strong ability to poke her enemies if they are out of position. First cast Strife, followed by Unruly Magic. Strife will root enemies in place, allowing Unruly Magic to connect and explode on the target, confirming additional damage from the minor projectiles. If possible, look to hit multiple enemies in a group, allowing Unruly Magic to hit multiple targets for a lot of damage. Discordia's third ability, Erratic Behavior, allows Discordia to quickly use Unruly Magic and Strife on a low cooldown. When safe, using this ability offensively can be devastating for the enemy team, forcing them to deal with multiple usages of these two abilities and making it difficult to stay in a fight. Be careful, as even though Discordia is stealthed, many enemies can damage that entire area. Using this too aggressively can result in her downfall. 
Discordia's Golden Apple deals a large amount of single target damage, but really shines when it explodes onto multiple enemies. Strife can root targets in place or make them run to each other, which will force players closer, lowering their chance to escape before the apple detonates. Additionally, enemies fleeing from the golden apple will often move in predictable ways. Use this to your advantage when aiming unruly magic. Discordia is a high sustained damage and utility mage. Each of her abilities force enemy players to adapt to the current situation or fall prey to the consequences. Unruly magic allows her to constantly apply pressure in a fight, while strife can punish enemies who move too close to each other. Erratic behavior can help Discordia escape and hide from enemies, while enabling her to rapidly fire both unruly magic and strife on her opponents. She can further disrupt the enemy team with Golden Apple of Discord, forcing enemy players to work together and split up, or face a large punishment. Pair her with gods that can keep her alive and allow her to cause discord among her enemies, like Kepri or Sylvanus. Additionally, her passive allows her to empower your highest damage dealer, herself included. Pick gods that have high damage scaling like Bastet or Ur that can make use of the bonus power. For Discordia's ability order, you will want to begin with Unruly Magic. This ability gives her strong early clear and harass potential on her enemies. Follow this with Strife. Casting this on minions will cause them to attack each other, further helping your clear. After another point in Unruly Magic, pick up Erratic Behavior to escape when opponents look to attack you. From here, you will want to follow the ability priority of Golden Apple of Discord, Unruly Magic, Strife, and finally, Erratic Behavior. Discordia's build should focus on a mixture of magical power, cooldown reduction, and magical penetration to increase her damage and the frequency of her abilities. Begin with Sands of Time, Soul Reliquary, and a Health Potion. This will give Discordia a strong amount of power, cooldown reduction, and a small amount of sustain to help her in the early game. Rush Book of Thoth and Shoes of the Magi to get your damage online quickly. Kronos' Pendant is your next pickup, allowing you to cast your abilities more often. Next, pick up Spear of Desolation to gain more of all your core stats, as well as bonus cooldown reduction on a successful kill. Finally, close out your build with Rod of Tehuti and Obsidian Shard. These two items will make your abilities hit much harder and pass through protections, helping you deal with tankier enemies. Thanks for watching the Smite God reveal for Discordia, Goddess of Strife.